Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador is right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. I'm off. Fight the good fight, babe. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, ah, what now? Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! This is empty. this in his mouth. What the? There's 
something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? scare them eventually. Agent Calavera and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. They still think I'm locked up, hopefully. Hey, what 
What did they do with Gladys? It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Philodent. Good for dents, great for dentures. I don't want to make an impression of that. Agent Calavera here. Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. The revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolución! I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Hey, what is that? Custard? Try it. No, thanks. I'm watching my figure. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and like quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Manny. This looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend, if you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. <laughs> Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty, they fired me. <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. I wonder how long he can live with that heart. I guess I could always use a spare. Piece of cake. 
Ay, Chihuahua. Don't think that's gonna work. Soup's on. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation, at least not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. That would make a decent go-kart. Switches up. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. 
Okay! transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? What's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. to save bones for special occasions. I think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. This river seems to be made, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water.
Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the keyhole. somewhere. Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key.
okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the toilet. Man, hey, look at we have to e This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. The whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> 